Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I am going to be doing something that has been very requested, not as a video, but people just ask me how I get my hair like this, how do you get your hair like this, oh my gosh, I love your hair, and stuff like that. So today in this video, I am going to be showing you how I get my curls like this, and also how I do my little space buns. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn a little something. I literally filmed this video last night until like 1 o'clock in the morning. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. So I'm starting you guys off with what I use in the shower. So I use the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo, which I really love. And then I also use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Treatment, which leaves my hair so freaking soft. And then I also use a conditioner, which is the Aussie Moist Conditioner, which also leaves my hair super soft. So guys, this is my hair right out of the shower the real me no makeup everyone deserves to see this every once in a while so i'm starting off with the cantu leave-in conditioner and that was my last bit and i was so sad that's like my favorite product ever but it's really inexpensive so i should probably get another one but this is me just pu putting that throughout my whole entire head so then here you can see me putting in coconut oil into my hair which makes my hair super soft the next day if I do like a braid out or something and then I'm also using the anti-frizz oil by Garnier and then you can see me putting my hair in its first section I do a lot of sections to make sure I can get all of my hair and do good sized braids that aren't too huge because I want a really defined braid out so as you can see here I'm using the Cantu twist and lock gel and I'm going to be applying this to every section before I do my braids which really helps define the braids and the curls whenever I take them out the next morning. So as you can see now, I am starting the braid and I really make sure to like, when I start off the braid, I get really close to my scalp. And then once I'm done with that part, I can just braid all the way down, which is really easy. But getting to the scalp is probably the hardest part, but they don't have to be too tight where it like hurts your head and gives you a headache, but it really helps if they are closer to your scalp. And I was listening to music. <laughs> so I do about three to four braids every layer. It matters like how thick the section is, or you know, like it just like matters where it is on my head. But as you can see, I'm basically just doing the same exact thing for the whole section of my head. Then once I am finished with the braid, I tie it off with a little rubber band and when I do my twist outs, I don't need to put anything at the bottom, but for these braids, I like to put something at the bottom. And as you can see, I'm just spritzing my hair with some water and I think it's mixed with just a little bit of conditioner because my hair dries super fast and I like to do these when my hair is super wet. Before you came and just saying I could never do this without listening to music or something because it kind of takes a while. But anyway, as you guys can see, I am making my second layer. Um, you guys can kind of see like how big the section was. And I was like, whoa, all right, that's way too big. So I went ahead and made it smaller. By the way, guys, keep in mind that I did this whole entire braid out without a mirror, without looking at anything. So if there's like little pieces that probably don't belong in that section or layer don't mind me I am doing my best I think I did pretty good without looking but yeah just just like so keep in mind I am applying the Cantu twist and lock gel to every section individually um so I can make sure I get it into every braid like evenly I don't know I get asked often like how long this takes and I really never keep track I should have like kept track this time so I could tell you guys but you can kind of tell that it takes a while I feel like it takes me like 45 minutes to an hour not like more on the 45 minute side but if I'm listening to music then it really doesn't feel that long and when you have hair like me you're kind of used to your hairstyles taking a super long time but it's really worth it in the end and you can wear it for days so it's fine 
But like really patience is like key for this so just take your time and do the best braids you can do your first time probably won't be as good as it will be if you do this like often which I do do so really just do your best it's gonna turn out cute either way like you guys are all like cute as heck so it's gonna you're gonna look good either way but you know just try your best it's all right by the way, in case you guys are wondering, yes, my hair is dyed. You can high key see my roots, but I will be dyeing my hair again soon. But I did dye my hair two times, like during the break I had off YouTube. So, yeah, but I'll be dyeing it soon and we'll be filming when dyeing it. So, like, yeah, cool. <laughs> And then this is me braiding the last layer of my hair, which literally, it's, it's so exciting to be like, finally done with your hair, like it's so great. Before you came round, my heart would never be much fun. And here's a pointless clip of me trying cheddar cheese ramen noodles. I was so excited and very disappointed, like, mood as like always. And then I just sleep with the braids in overnight and here's me like being really fake pretending like I'm going to sleep when really I stayed up for two more hours. Boom, would you look at that, psych! Oh, by the way, I was happy I ended up getting popcorn and a banana instead and I was satisfied. So it is now the next morning. I literally filmed this like 30 minutes after I woke up. So it is now time to undo the braids. So basically I'm just putting any type of oil on my hands. You can use coconut oil or some, whatever type of hair oil is fine. It's basically just to help um, taking out the braids and it reduces frizz so you won't have any frizz whenever you take them out. And I actually find taking out the braids like it's really like kind of fun and it's not bad at all compared to putting all the braids in so just make sure you get all of them because it's kind of easy to like forget one. So at this point, I am pretty much done. So you could just leave the braids be and just wear it down if you were to kind of like undo them a little more, but I personally don't like that. So that's why I do the space buns and yeah, my rubber band broke, but you can barely see it because I'm like dumb and yeah. Um, but I just get little hair ties and I just make like little buns. Like everyone knows how to do a bun. It's just like a miniature version of that. And then I usually, um, it looks better if you like get all the extra hair and you just wrap it around and bobby pin them, which I did after this because I realized how bad it looked. And here I am just kind of messing with it and kind of running through it with my fingers, but not really because it looked a little too defined for me and it had like no volume or anything. So once I'm satisfied, I will lay my edges. So um, yeah, just brushing my teeth with the gel, right? So I just get gel. And I kind of just like, I don't know, everyone kind of lays their edges like kind of the same. I can do a video on how I do it if you guys want me to, but yeah, and that's it. So guys, that is it for this video. This is the finished look. Um, I really like it. It's super bouncy and it really shows my hair, like more of my hair's natural length. And I really like it and I usually can wear this style for up to two to three days. I usually just like redo it after two days because I just like them to look really fresh 
and that doesn't last for that long. But if you are one of those people that can wear a hairstyle for longer, that's like totally fine. You do you. But I just like to redo it after like two days. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It's free and it would help a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ready to